In this mod review, we're going to have a detailed look at the BDF tandem for all trucks. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're going to have a look at the BDF tandem for all trucks in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, this is actually a mod that's been around for quite a while now and it has grown immensely. So uh, let's dive right in and let's make this uh, uh, Volvo a tandem. Sorry, couldn't get my words out. Right, so everything else is the same in the game. So you basically all the stuff that you want to add on there that you like to add on there is all there as well. So all the standard stuff. The only major difference for this, so you've got all your normal chassis is your tandems there's a whole heap of tandems down the bottom look at this there's heaps so you've got the 4x2 the 6x24 you've got the 6x24 tag lift you've got the 6x4 you've got the 6x4 uh, tandem tag lift see the back there is a uh, tag lift and then you've got the 6x44 and then you've got the 6x44 uh, which is the see how the it's tag lift at the back there so a lot to choose from I really do like that's the one I'm gonna choose a 6x4 tandem tag lift now uh, engines all the same so you get all the same engines that you normally get so none of that's been actually changed um, the transmissions again all the same none of that's been changed um, then we go to the interior and again that is the same as vanilla so you don't have to worry about too much change or anything you got the UK side exclusive and blah 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 so um, oh look that's weird oh there we go there's the only difference there we go you can't get the uh, the black version of this that's a shame oh, I thought you could you can't oh well never mind uh, so I don't know why that's actually changed that's weird but anyway going off to the colors now you can get all your standard colors in here that you'd normally get your custom colors and stuff like that so you can go crazy do yourself up a really cool skin and then do yourself a skin for the trailer as well and you know so there's all the default skins work with this oh well it's made me out to be a liar look at this the Volvo has actually got not not got all the skins. That is interesting, isn't it? Let's go back over to here. Let's choose the default. Let's choose that one there. And then we go here and now we've got all the skins. There we go. Look at that. There's all the skins there. So if you want to use all the skins, you have to actually select the default trucks, of course. So there we go, that's the tandem, and the tandem extra large there doesn't have the uh, the extra skins on there. So that is that is very interesting. I'm glad I picked that up now. I didn't quite see that before, so that is very interesting. Now, uh, going to just put on, doesn't matter, we'll put on, let's see, which one? I like that one there. That one there is quite good. And then we'll go to the accessories. Now all of the standard accessories that you could possibly want are on here. So as you can see there is the grill guards there. A ton of them to choose from. Um, and even if we go down here, where was it? Where did I just see that? There we go. There's accessories and stuff like that you can put on there. So it looks pretty cool. But I'm going to go, I go the boring old number plate on the front. That's me. Uh, then we've got steps. You can choose the different steps like you normally would. And then we have bull bar on the front there. So if you want to choose different kinds of bull bars, just like you normally would, you can. And this is working with the latest version of um, uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, guys. So there we go. There's a bull bar on the front. We can put spotlights on there. There you go and then we go up to number plates you can go and put a number plate or the raven logo if you want if you want to put that in there and then over here you've got let's see number plate uh, sorry the uh mirror on the front main mirrors choose between the main mirrors there we'll put a bit of chrome on there just to separate it a bit 
And then you can put flags on, which is really cool. So where's the Australia flag? There it is there. And what about down here? Where is the Australia flag? There we go. And then you go up to here and you can go put a whole heap of visors on there. There you go. Uh, you know, all the, all the different ones. You guys are familiar with all the different ones you can put on here. So you can go for your life. Uh, I don't know which one do I want to put on. That one. I'll put on that one today. Up there, there's this. Yeah, well, that's for this only. And just like normal, as you normally would go through, most of this is pretty much standard uh, as you would normally do it. So there we go. That's how I normally have it. And then we'll go put on. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Lights. Lights. And lights. You can go crazy with lights if you want. There you go. And up the top there is the beacon light. Oh, I like the uh, space. Now the exhaust. This is um, interesting because you can do... Oh, that is going through. That's not cool. Look at that. That's actually cutting through the side there. Oh. Oh, that's no good at all. That is a real shame, that is. Never mind. But uh, it wasn't doing... It doesn't do that on all models. Go through the side. That's. I think it's just the Volvo one that we've picked here and it's gone and done that. So I'm going to remove that. Uh, just so you know, there is another exhaust on the other side as well. So you can have two exhausts on there if you want. I'll just leave it on the grass burner. Now, going down, we have the handles. You can paint the handles or chrome the handles just like normal. And then we have tires. You can put on whatever kind of tires you want. I'm going down to my. I'm going down to Ravens. I love these Raven rims, guys. I just love them. I really do. Chrome. And then we put on the center. And where is it? There it is. There. Now uh, down to the rear of the truck. And we'll go there. Put on those ravens. And uh, chrome is what I want. And then the hub, I'm going to put the ravens on there. And those tires, we'll put on that one. Uh, then we go to... Uh, sorry, I need to go to the ravens. There we go. And chrome. And then the center. There we go. Sorry, had to, had to fix that up to make it look proper. Then over there's the side skirts. You can just put on the little rails there or full side skirts down the whole way or just half. I'm going to put them down the, the whole way. It really does look better. Now, this is where you get to choose the tandem part. So you can get your all different sorts, different, uh, different sorts of uh, sort of cargo areas, we should call them. There we go. I'll put it there so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So there's a whole heap of cargo areas. You see it, it changes a fair bit. Fair few things that do change. Container on the back there if you want to carry a container. Fuels. And you can get, uh, you can make your own skin for this. It's really easy. They give you a template and they tell you exactly how to do it. So very very simple I am going to put that one there on I like the tanker I think it looks very smart with the tanker on there now uh, go to that that one there and that is you can put spare tire a battery uh, underneath you see underneath there it shows you there big tanks uh, other stuff you know a cabinet and whatnot so uh, put big tanks in there how about that and around the back there is not not much more so but that's what it looks like on the back there that's pretty cool spinning it round and go to the front here because it's a bit hard on the side there there we go that is the mirror there's the exhaust again that is the beacons there's the door handles there is the front tires etc etc 
And there is the uh, doorstep. So um, now we've got the number plate grill. So that's all there. We've gone and checked all that out. So let's go on the inside. And there we go. We have the flag. There's the mirrors. That is the GPS if you want to add that in there. There is a, that's the plate. So if you want to add Raven or whatever, you know, driver's plate, you can do so. And then we have the steering wheel. So that's that steering wheel that I like, the black one. And we can go and add accessories in there if we want. Let's go, let's go pick, I don't know. Pick the Volvo one. And then we'll go Euro trucks and SES. There we go. Now, uh, little accessory dots. So you can see all the accessories are working fine in here now, which is really cool. And let's see, we go up to Hula Girl. And then we'll put, uh, what else can we put in there? No, that's a scan your logbook. We don't want that in there. Put the Raven in there. There we go. Nah, take that out. All right, so I'll just put the Hula Girl. Um, there's the other side there. There is a, a we can put SES cup in there. There's the mirrors and there's the, oh, there's the curtains. The curtains are all there. And up the top there, you can have eight ball or whatever you want hanging from the roof. So pretty much all the standard stuff that you'd normally see is in here. In what you'd normally see in a standard truck, which is really good. Right, there we go, is the Esky. And up the back there is the light board. So you can have whatever you want in there there you go all right let's confirm this look at that I reckon that looks really cool and then we do a trade-in yes and see how long it takes to load okay there we go all good right see it doesn't take long to load at all which is really good the rest of the map uh, had trouble catching up I don't know what that was we hit must have hit something so there we go that's all really that loaded really quick so that's good I reckon that looks really cool a junior senior skin would probably work really well on this yep there we go see look at that reflection there that looks really cool on the the tank now, one of the beautiful parts of this is that you can actually... Hang on a second. I've got a cup in the road. You can actually get a trailer for this, which is really, really cool. That's why I like this tandem one. It's been around for a long time, as I've said. We've had a look at it a couple of times, but... Really, it's uh, we haven't really given it as much attention as what we should have, so... And... There we go, there's the flashes, high beams, high beams work. Uh, let me fix up those, oops, where are they? Ex front accessory, there we go. And did it change the steering wheel at all? No, it didn't. And there we go, wipers are working, are they? Yeah, wipers are working, display is working. Yep, display is working. Wipers on the outside. Yep, see, wipers are working. Everything seems to be working fine as it should. And uh, let's go forward a bit. See, brake lights. And reverse, there we go. See, so all those lights are all working properly, which is really good. So now what I'm going to show you is that you can, and I'm hoping that it's loaded it, you can actually get, see, trailers. See, there's all trailers for it, so it's really cool. You can go and grab yourself whatever kind of trailer you want. Let's go over to here. And there you go. So there, that is the, there's a trailer there that's, that's really good. Let's go pick that one up. Wipers. There's a second mode for wipers. Turn those flashes off. Oh, my track IR is not on. That's that's why it's playing. That's why it's not working. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. And should do it, do it. Okay, there we go. So we can go pick up a trailer and go for a drive. Well, we're not going for a drive this time because that defeats the purpose of the weekly drive. But I'm just going to show you that it does actually pick up these trailers. And um, that way, it makes it a lot, you know, a lot better that it actually looks the part. There's the banana break. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Damn it. See, it's it's just like uh it's a little bit a little bit heavier on the steering as you would expect than a normal Volvo is. So Come on, mate. Oh, I hate the AI in this game. AI is the worst. Right. And I seriously reckon that the the SKRS shifter does not like my profiles for Euro trucks. It really doesn't. Right, there we go. Um, now, let's go to Freight Market. And there we go. If we have a look in here, it gives you three different versions that you can change to. So that's really cool. But that one there is the only one that we can take that job. And notice that it I didn't have to rest or nothing. It was just automatically there. So that's really cool. And uh, this works for all the trucks, guys. The, all, so it gives all the trucks tandem ability, which is really cool. Your favourite truck, whichever one you uh, you like to drive, you can actually uh, grab that and have tandem on there. So it's really cool. Is that going to hook up? There we go. Attach trailer. There we go. Let's flick that off. All right. Now, there you go. See? So it hooks up nicely. And there we go. I reckon that looks cool. It's a shame we couldn't get one that was silver exactly the same. But that doesn't matter. It still looks pretty damn cool. I think it does anyway. So, guys, if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. You, all you have to do is punch that like button in the ass, and that tells me a whole heap of information. Not just that you like this mod, but it also gives me other information as well. So uh, make sure that you get in there and do that, guys, if you really would like to see this in the weekly drive. Now the links for this, it's um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link to SES the um, the uh, sorry the the oh, what is it? Not the blog the the forums. I'm going to put a link to SES forums in there, and also uh, there I'll put the link to the Steam Workshop because this is on the Steam Workshop as well. So uh, you can get it either way, whichever way. I suggest that you get it through the Steam Workshop because that way, when it updates, it will update automatically for you. It makes it very easy for you to get. So uh, definitely a very good mod. It's been around for a long time, and as, as I said before, yeah, it, it, I think it's one that you should have. Look at that on the back there. Euro Truck, King of the Road. Awesome on the back there. But anyway, guys, that is it for me. Uh, if you would like to see more of more Euro Trucks or American Truck videos, then in down, just down below me, you will see a big red circle that says Junior Senior Gaming. Click on that, and that will take you to the Junior Senior Gaming uh, on YouTube and make sure you subscribe so it's very important if you want to see more stuff also guys there's a little bell next to the subscribe button if you click on that it will actually give you updates when I upload a video you'll actually be notified so make sure you've got those two things highlighted and you should be right you'll get heaps more junior senior gaming videos to watch so enough to keep you entertained for a long long time 
But that is it for me, guys. Look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.